The Quinta Dui service offers a wide range of functionality for creating a web application with a database with a beautiful and user-friendly interface. Using simple and easy-to-use modules, you can customize and automate your business processes. But if that's not enough for you, you can always extend the capabilities of your application using QuintaDB REST API. API is an application programming interface that allows you to exchange data between applications through requests. In simple terms, it's a useful tool that allows applications or services to interact effectively with each other. Using the API, you can expand the capabilities of the application. For example, you can create a bot in a messenger or create a mobile application that will interact with the QuintaDB database. Let's look at how the API works. We are using the Events application from Template. Install the application. Now it's ready. We have an application with a database of events. Assume we have a task to create a mobile application based on this database. To start using the API, open the For Developers page on the QuintaDB.com website. Here you will find a description of the parameters and methods organized into categories. To get started, create an API key by this link. Specify a name and click on the Create button. Do not share your API key with third persons to avoid data loss. Here are the parameters we need to pass. REST API key is your API key. App ID – Application ID. Entity ID – ID of the application form. View is the report ID using optional. Page – Page number with records. Per page – Choose how many records should be on one page, from 1 to 200. But using the fetch all parameter, we can increase the maximum value. Later, we will coming back to it. Please note that the order of the data depends on the selected sort in your database. Thus, you can choose yourself which data will be located on a particular page. The next parameter is a name value. It's used to get the name of the column, to make the data easier to read. Using this parameter, you must specify the one value. Fetch all. Best as true. This parameter allows you to get more than 200 entries per page, used in conjunction with the per page parameter. The maximum number of entries depends on the selected pricing plan. The request body is an example of how the API request should look like. You can see examples below of how JSON and XML requests are looking for a particular method. The most comfortable to use an URL generator to get the request URL. Here you need to select an API key. Request Fetch all records. Select an application and a form. Copy the generated link to the clipboard and paste it into a new browser tab. Here we got the data from QuintaDB database. If the database has reports, then you can also select it from the list and the view parameter will be automatically added to the link. 
Using the CURL section, you can display data in the Linux terminal, Mac or Windows command line. Please note, using the Windows command line, you need to replace single quotes with double ones. And remove the space after content type and colon at the beginning of the line. Now, let's consider an example of creating a mobile application for the events database using the Adala service. The Adala service allows you to create applications for a smartphone and use the API to connect an external database. Create an account for Adala service. Choose to create a new native mobile app. In this example, we will not use ready-made templates. Create an application from scratch. Specify a name and color scheme. The Adala service automatically adds sign-up and login screens. We don't need them at the moment, so we'll just remove them. Open the side menu. The Screens section. Select the window and click Delete button. To use our database from QueenAdV, you need to open the side menu and select Database. Under the Internal Collections section, click on the Add Collections link. Connect an external collection. Enter the name and paste the URL from the already familiar URL generator from the For Developers page on QueenTDB. Copy the URL to get all records. Next, click on Add Item to add options. Choose Query Param. I want to remind you that you can see an example of the request body on the developer's page. Specify the name. REST API key. The value is your API key. Press the Done button. The next parameter is page. Value 1. Next parameter is name value. Value 1. Next, fetch all. This parameter, unlike the others, always has a true value. The last parameter we will pass is per page. For example, 300 records per page. Click on the next button. Now we need to refine the result key. We can see an example on the developer's page in the response section. For the get all parameters, getting all records, we use records. To get a single record, the result key is record. Also, for this parameter, we need to replace the URL. Using the URL generator on the QuintyDB website, we can get the generated URL to get the entry for the form. In this example, we do not need to select a specific record ID, as we will subtitle the ID variable for Adela instead. We insert the generated URL and remove the ID of the QuintyDB record, instead of which we substitute the ID in two curly braces. Thus, Adela will automatically substitute the required record ID when we call the get one record request. For convenience, you can copy this URL since we will use it for update and delete records requests. For the create parameter, we need to get a separate URL. Choose a key, 
application form. The field is irrelevant. Copy and paste. The result is a record. When it's done, click on the next button and run the test. The test was successful. The collection is ready. Using the plus button, we can add a list of columns from the template. Drag it to the screen. In the side menu, you need to select our database and add components. In the title, we can substitute data from the integrated database. Use the icon T magic text to substitute values from the database. We will follow the same columns order as in the table on QuintaDB. Optionally, you can add text. Now click on Preview button. Great! Next, using the Screens menu, we will add a new screen. It will serve to view a single record. Specify a name. To open this screen, we use an action that will open the record view by clicking on the list. Select the list. Click on the Add Action button. Choose Link and New Screen. We also need a new screen for the record adding. Add a form and select our QuintaDB collection as we did in the previous steps. You can edit the fields and remove unnecessary ones. Add a button to the main screen and add an action with a transition to the screen with the form. This way we can add new records in the database through this app. We can also add editing to our record. Let's add an additional button for editing on the record viewing page. Next, add a new screen. This screen will be similar to adding an entry. Adding a form and editing fields.
Next, on the view screen, select our button and add an action link to our screen with the edit form. Click on the edit form, select the collection and select the update. The form is ready. We also need to add the deletion of our entry. To do this, click on our list, open the right section, turn it on. Here we can select the icon that will be displayed on the right side of our list. Add action, delete, our entry. Deleting the current entry is done. This is how we created a full-fledged mobile application, integrated with the QuintetoBit database, just in few minutes. In the following videos, we will show more queries and examples that can be done using the QuintetoBit API. Subscribe and stay tuned for updates on the QuintetoBit service.